come on. Um, I'm on my way, but I, uh, my business cards finally came and I'm going to give them out to the various families that are going to be there today. Um, I'm going to give them my work email and then I'm going to give them my, um, my blogs because I'm trying to promote them and get as many people to view and share as possible. So, um, I'm almost there now. Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum or rather have Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media and a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum, I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. Autism Airport rehearsal tours, and uh, all of the families are going home now. Now, and I'm getting ready to go and have myself some lunch. But this time, uh, I got up in front of uh, the plane and uh, gave my tips on how someone can travel through an airport with a child with autism. I mentioned the issue with uh, the individual who spilled water on their clothes and how they had a meltdown and I said that uh, you need to uh, bring a separate change of clothes. I also talked about uh, the, uh, the headsets needing to be, you need to have them ready when there's a door alarm that goes off and you need to have uh, those headsets ready in front of uh, the baggage claim or with those carousels because they have a buzzer with a flashing light and the, you know, that set of noise and the flashing light would, can be a bit too much for people who are on the spectrum. Uh, it was really fun. Um, I finally, had, being that I have business cards now, I had a chance to uh, hand them out to some of the families today and I had a chance to uh, put myself out there. And then I met a mom of a, a little boy who does not use formal language and he communicates. And when I first met him, I thought that his little, uh, little toy, it had the letters on it. I thought that was his communication device and she said it wasn't. And then when I was trying to give her a suggestion, she wanted to know if I was a parent. And I told her, no, I'm on the spectrum myself and uh, I'm a volunteer with uh, Autism Airport Rehearsal Tours. Um, other things I wanted to mention is I uh, I have a narrative, uh, which is can be really really helpful for uh, those of you that are parents on the spectrum that have uh, children that learn visually. Uh, I don't really know how their brains work, but basically this uh, is a narrative of our program. I call it Airborne Autistic, but. The name of the actual program, we call this Taking Flight, and then they collaborate with Arc of Georgia with the Wings for Autism, but Delta sponsors the Taking Flight program that I participate in once a month. And they have this narrative. What it is, is it's a picture book with all kinds of words that you can use. Um, now, keep in mind, and I know that um, your child is getting diagnosed, and you're learning about different, uh, tools for your child. Uh, this is a narrative. I mean, everything will look backwards, but it looks similar to this. It's like a, it's like a picture storybook. And you say, it'll say things like, um, the flight crew will help me board 
and then you flip it over to the next page and it shows you the next step. Um, next step says, I will listen to the flight attendant about safety instructions. So that's what a narrative is. In this case, um, these uh, taking flight Delta narratives are designed to uh, show individuals on the spectrum how to travel through an airport, how to board an airplane. Uh, the only thing with this is that it doesn't show you or doesn't show the individual on the spectrum how one gets from uh, from the gate to the plane and they left out the part with the boarding ramp but otherwise it's good so uh, this is this lady here uh, her daughter this is uh, one of our volunteers uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to mention her name or not but she's uh, she works with Delta she accompanies she works with unaccompanied minors and um, this is her daughter and her daughter is on the spectrum herself so anyway i'm about to go and head out to get myself some lunch and then probably uh, go study at the library today this is amazing i was just walking through here colton sounds like he's uh, kind of in his uh, zone most spectrumites are so. all right it was nice to meet you I was just walking through here with all of this uh, wonderful African art. And I ended up running into uh, one of the families, or two different families, uh, that uh, they met through the Marcus Autism Center right here in Atlanta, Georgia. And I was lucky enough to film them. And they said that they liked every moment of it. So here's my interview with them, very short. And here's uh, their little boy, Colton, who didn't want to say hello because he was too much into routine. It turns out I ran into some really cool people that were part of the uh, taking flight uh, rehearsal tour. I was on my way to go get me some lunch at one of the concourses, but I ran into the, this cool mom. She's a Star Wars fan. Yes. And what's your name? And uh, so tell me, what did you think of the uh, airport rehearsal tours? Oh, it was amazing. I loved everything about it. It definitely was very informational and um, helpful for us when we travel. Any chance that you'll be traveling anywhere soon? Uh, yeah, we think so. This summer, probably. So we, we really need it. because we have these every month. Awesome. Yeah, don't hesitate to contact the airline pilots. So. Of course, thank you. Right. And what was your name? Oh. Um, so how old is your little boy? Six. Six? And what's his name? Yeah. Colton? Um, I'd like to say hello to him. He ran away. He likes the, um, you can see. Yeah, I was in here taking some footage of all the, of all the different uh, African arts. And I, of course, I love this music in here. Uh, look at all the uh, the, the photography of there's a hippo there's a hippo yawning. There's, look at the huts. I was into the sculptures. I took a bunch of them. I'm gonna do a bunch of stills for this vlog. Uh, Colton. Looks like he's on the moving escalator. Is that his favorite thing to do? All right. ready to have lunch here and I wanted to put an emphasis on um, the autism airport tours yes they are a passion I really enjoy uh, working with these families but I have something I wanted to talk about that's really starting to bug me I'm not going to badmouth anybody and I'm not gonna mention any names I don't know their names anyway but I wanted to share more of an experience so one thing I've learned about uh, volunteering with the Autism Airport Rehearsal Tours is that there are gobs and gobs and gobs of uh, families that come to this uh, Autism Airport Rehearsal Tours, right? And 
one of the things that I deal with are uh, some of these parents, it's like I want to network with them, they see that I'm there to volunteer and I, I give my input, but these parents, or some of them, these kids with autism, think they're too important to talk to me. And it's absolutely eye-opening. Um, now, I started bringing both my business cards from work, and I started bringing my business cards for my blogs, so that these people would know who I am. I wanted to put emphasis on something and I don't want to badmouth anybody because there are people out there that um, I'm trying to vlog here ma'am. Well ma'am I'm trying to wipe the table down. Oh well. Um, sorry about that folks. Um, uh, sorry about that. Um, some of these uh, people that work in customer service have some attitude. You heard what you just said to me. Um, I'm not going to let it get to me, but anyhow, um, that's me when I get frustrated. I mean, she she wiped my table down once and I thought she was done. And she came back and I grilled and she looked at me funny and I said, Ma'am, I'm trying to uh, wipe off. I said, I'm trying to do a vlog here. And she goes, well, I'm trying to wipe the table off. And I, I looked at her and I said, oh, wow. But um, luckily she... Uh, uh, luckily she walked away and she just left me alone but uh, what I wanted to talk about in this vlog is that um, I is that uh, as much as I have loved meeting the families and I love doing these autism airport rehearsal tours I mean you met that awesome family who is willing to vlog with me uh, there are several families that I'm noticing and I don't want to badmouth anybody because I'm trying to uh, look professional um, there are some families, they just, they want to get in and get out, and uh, I had tried to reach out to one of them today, and, uh, and I was trying to show them my business cards, network with them, and one of them, or one of their parents, was just, uh, she thought she was more important. And she's awful about it. And I, I growled at her the second time. She, I, she looked at me funny and I said, I'm trying to vlog here. And it was, well, I'm trying to clean, well, I'm trying to clean your table off. And I said, oh, well, but, <laughs> it's, I mean, I'm not gonna let her ruin my day, but I just know that when, when I feel like I'm about to snap back, and I didn't snap, but that it's time to go. Um, either way, I got myself some lunch. I get. I don't think I'm gonna eat lunch here anymore because it's just too expensive and too crowded. Unless I have to travel through here for uh, work or I'm going on vacation somewhere. But next time I can probably find a restaurant outside the airport. Um, I know that there are lots of them around here. I just don't know how to gain access to them. But either way, this vlog is over for now. If you like what I'm doing, yes. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure to look for new content on a daily basis. Um, until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off. Bye.